Wisdom, the final frontier to true knowledge. Welcome to Wisdom Trek, where our mission is to create a legacy of wisdom, to seek out discernment and insights, to boldly grow where few have chosen to grow before. Hello, my friend. I am Guthrie Chamberlain, your captain on our journey to increase wisdom and create a living legacy. Thank you for joining us today as we explore wisdom on our second millennium of podcasts. This is day 1297 of our trek and time for a three minute mini trek called Humor Unplugged. Our Thursday podcast will provide you with a clean and short funny story to help you to lighten up and live a rich and satisfying life. Something to cheer you and provide a bit of levity in your life. We are told in Proverbs chapter 15 verse 30, a cheerful look brings joy to the heart. Good news makes for good health. We are also encouraged in Proverbs chapter 17, verse 22. A cheerful heart is good medicine, but a broken spirit saps a person's strength. Consider this your vitamin supplement of cheer for today. So let's jump right in with today's funny, which is titled, Countryside Community Church. On Sunday, Pastor Jones, the new young pastor of Countryside Community Church, arrived at church and found that the only one who had shown up so far was old Farmer Smith, who owned a nearby small dairy farm. After waiting a while, hoping that others would show up, Pastor Jones was really disappointed. Finally, exasperated, Pastor Jones remarked to old Farmer Smith, Well, it seems like no one else is coming, so we should just probably go ahead and cancel the service for today. Farmer Smith stared at Pastor Jones for a bit, then he looked down at his clothes, knowing that he had dressed in his Sunday best, and he thought for a moment more, then he looked at young Pastor Jones and said, Well, Pastor, I don't know much about preaching, but I do know something about farming, and if I went out to the field and found only one cow, I'd still feed him. All excited, Pastor Jones ran up to the pulpit and proceeded to preach for the next 45 minutes a fierce fire and brimstone sermon like he'd never preached before. Once Pastor Jones had finally wrapped up his sermon, including an invitation, he proceeded off the platform. Feeling really good about his message, he went and shook old Farmer Smith's hand and asked the old farmer what he thought. Farmer Smith thought for a bit as he looked into the distance, and then he said, Well, Pastor Jones, I don't know much about preaching, but I do know something about farming, and if I went out to the field and found only one cow, I wouldn't give him the whole bale of hay. I hope that brought a smile to your face today. If it did, pass that smile on to someone else. We could all use a good smile every day. And our Thursday thought is, if I ever wrote a book on preaching, it would contain three words. Preach the word. Get rid of all that other stuff that gets you sidetracked. Preach the word. And our verse for today is 2 Timothy 4, verse 2. Preach the word of God. Be prepared whether the time is favorable or not. Patiently correct, rebuke, and encourage your people with good teaching. And just as you enjoy these nuggets of humor, please encourage your friends and family to join us and then come along with us tomorrow for another day of Wisdom Trek, Creating a Legacy. If you'd like to listen to any of the past 1,296 daily treks or read the Wisdom Journals, they are all available at wisdom-trek.com. And I encourage you to subscribe to Wisdom Trek on your favorite podcast player so that each day will be downloaded to you automatically. And thank you so much for allowing me to be your guide, your mentor, but most importantly, I am your friend as I serve you through the Wisdom Trek podcast and journal each day. And as we take this trek of life, together let us always live abundantly, love unconditionally, listen intentionally, Learn continuously, then to others generously. Lead with integrity, and then leave a living legacy each day. I am Guthrie Chamberlain, reminding you to keep moving forward, enjoy your journey, and then create a great day every day. See you tomorrow for Philosophy Friday.